thinking, I was looking at my clock, and I realized when I was looking at the clock and the seconds ticking, maybe it'll help if I show the clock. They were just ticking. Seconds going by. Can count them. And then I was looking at the clock like a plastic piece of technology, and the seconds started to go by faster. I was like, whoa, it was like going on a roller coaster, like that feeling of going up over the hill. And then I started thinking about what people would think about if I was telling them about it, and the seconds didn't exist at all. Like a chunk of time was lost. So appreciate what things are, I guess, when you want excitement. And notice what they're doing when you want to, I don't know what, what it's doing, really. Like, it's kind of an arbitrary motion, isn't it? Like, movement is, is a sense of movement. If we want to time travel and move across the galaxy and stuff, you got to take into account, well, different ways of motion. Um... Because uh, I guess if you want to get somewhere quicker, but it's like the seconds were speeding up, so I'm afraid like survival, long-term survival is, is really my focus. Maybe we can live like 800 years if we're in like a, a quicker, if we're in an appreciation mode, kind of understanding what it is. I don't know how to, how to explain it. Like, for the sake of getting from one star to another. It's so annoying. Slay driver. Um, well, I need to hold this up. What I'm talking about. It. For like, um... Anyway, I figured out three modes of time. One is believing in time, as in seconds and minutes. The other is... I was going to say understanding it, but it's like that's in the back seat. That's the engine in the, in the back trunk, underneath the trunk. Or where they, you know... I just feel like, or maybe it's rear, maybe it's a rear wheel drive. The tires are actually under your car, so I guess you could get a four wheel drive version of understanding. That's kind of good because then you're making things happen as you're doing it. Um, when you're appreciating stuff. You can speed up time, which speeds it up for other people, and maybe you can hyperanalyze and slow down time for something that you want to focus on while you're appreciating everything around you, like a football in the air, so the football slows down for people, 